Yo guys, what's going on? This is Real American Studios, and uh, well, I'm going to do one of my rare, like, sports videos, and today it's going to be about the NFL. Uh, I'm going to be covering a few of these, like, hot topics within the NFL that, that I've been seeing right now. And, uh, yeah, like, basically I want to get into it. Uh, so, but basically, uh, before I do that, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 10 likes. And um, also, like, offer your thoughts on my comments in the comment section below. Because, uh, I mean, you might disagree with me. Again, like, just like Flimlo Rap says, you know, comment in an adult like an adult way like don't no name calling no kitty crap like you know oh you suck because you think this like no like you know just we can talk about it in an adult way but um follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash real american studios also instagram and twitter and join my discord all are in the description below check out all the channels linked below and with that being said Let's get into the topics. So, um, basically today I'm going to cover a couple of topics that seem to be hot within the NFL right now. And to start off, like, calling some of these rookies bust already. I mean, they literally just went, Josh Allen and Josh Rosen are already being called major busts. How, how would that even happen? All right, listen, I understand Josh Rosen, 11 touchdowns, 14 picks, 56 completion percentage this year. That's not great numbers. You know, Josh Allen, uh, I don't know what his completion percentage was, but it was somewhere maybe at 50 or just above it. But 50 completion percentage, 10 touchdowns, 12 picks, and he had almost as many rushing touchdowns as passing with eight. But, I mean, let's talk about this for a minute. So, Josh Rosen plays on the Cardinals. They were the worst team in the NFL this year. They got the number one overall draft pick. All right. So, um, a dog wants to get up here. So, how can you uh, judge him off of, like, so, listen, Arizona, they have David Johnson, Larry Fitzgerald, pot, like, one of the best receivers in NFL history and one of the best running backs in the game today. Both of these guys regressed. And, I mean, I guess you could say, you know, Josh Rosen was part of it. Again, he was a rookie. So, Larry Fitzgerald could be regressing because of age. Like, he's like, what, 34, 35 now? So, age could be a factor. But the offensive line is definitely a factor in Arizona. Their offensive line is terrible. And also, like, the fact that you basically got a retirement home for a team like, you've got so many old players on both sides of the ball. That's a big problem. So, that's part of the reason what was going on with Josh Rosen was, like, he's a rookie in a bad offense that's loaded with old players past their power prime and players that, like, aren't that great anyway. I mean, David Johnson regressed. I mean, you know... He's a generational talent, they said, but, you know, he's regressed over these last couple of years, so Arizona's clearly got a lot of issues to fix. And with that being said, now the talk of drafting Kyler Murray number one overall and trading away Josh Rosen. Listen, there's a lot of people that think Kyler Murray will be a great quarterback in the NFL. I'm not one of those people. And part of it is his size. I mean, I understand, like, Size sometimes doesn't matter. It does. It does, trust me. Uh, you know, RG3 was a bigger quarterback, but he had his career ruined. Can you imagine Kyler Murray having his career ruined? I mean, Lamar Jackson, you know. Like, I mean, what worries me, like, he's probably my favorite player in the NFL right now. Uh, you know, but what if he ends up getting hurt because he's running so much? Like, that's what worries me about this. Like, but... Also, I believe Lamar Jackson has enough talent around him to where he can definitely improve as a passer. And he's already a pretty good passer. Like, people say he cannot throw. He's a running back playing quarterback. That's not true at all. Like, he like he, uh, he put up better stats than Josh Allen and Josh Rosen. Granted, again, he had, I believe, more talent around him, though. 
Josh Allen, you cannot judge anything off him. Number one, I thought Buffalo made a little bit of a mistake taking Josh Allen over Josh Rosen to begin with. Because, you know, Josh Allen still, but he's raw as a passer. He definitely showed, you know, potential. But, again, he's, he, like, his best receiver is Zay Jones. After that, like, you know, the fact that Robert Foster, who was an undrafted receiver, was uh, had a big role in the offense. You've got Shady. He's aging. He's not. He's starting to regress. You've got a horrible offensive line. Like, I mean, these are just two guys that have, like, guys around them that are old and past their age. Or they just don't and don't have a lot of talent around a period. They have terrible offensive lines and they're rookies. That's a horrible combination. Are these guys the first rookies to ever throw more picks than touchdowns? Or, you know, to even struggle their rookie season? Heck no. Because, I mean, Peyton Manning threw more interceptions than touchdowns his rookie season. Tom Brady didn't even start until a few years into his career. Granted, he wasn't supposed to be good anyway. And then, uh, you know, Drew Brees struggled early on. Aaron Rodgers didn't start until much later. You know, Matt Stafford, he struggled early on. And, you know, a lot of people don't they think he's an average QB. I think he's a really good QB on a dysfunctional franchise, in my opinion. But, I mean, like, you've got to look at it. There's... There's very few quarterbacks in the NFL that don't struggle their rookie season. Andrew Luck, he was good in his rookie season. He still threw a lot of interceptions and still to this day throws a lot of interceptions. So, I mean, you know, like, you know, very few QBs don't struggle in their first year starting. Alex Smith, you know, he, he's been a good quarterback throughout his career, I believe. A lot of people say he's not. Alex Smith was a really good quarterback, and there's a chance he won't play ever again. And, you know, you know I hate that for him. But, I mean, shoot, he had, like, a worse career start start to his career than Nathan Peterman did. And, you know, he turned out to be pretty good. I mean, you know, so he's led several playoff teams. So, you know, like, you can't say anything about, like, you know, these guys after their first season, especially with dysfunctional franchises like this. Alex Smith, when he started off, the 49ers were one of the most dysfunctional franchises in the league. And he started off much, much worse than, you know, these two guys. So, you know, um, I mean, Peyton Manning came into an era where the Colts were dysfunctional, and he made them, you know, pretty good. So over time, I believe Rosen and Allen, I think they'll both turn out to be good quarterbacks. And if Arizona trades uh, Kyler Murray, like drafts Kyler Murray and trades Rosen, they made a big mistake, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, now I'm going to get in on the subject of Kyler Murray a little bit. Kyler Murray, if you look at the tape at Oklahoma, even in college he struggled throwing to the middle of the field. The offense was designed for him to get out of the pocket and throw to the sidelines. And, I mean, in the NFL, just throwing to the sidelines, there's no way you're going to turn out to be a good quarterback. You've got to be able to throw to the middle of the field. Now, I mean, yeah, I understand, like, getting out of the pocket, that's the things that Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson are known for. I mean, and yeah, that works. You know, Drew Brees, he, he throws all over the field, and he's short, you know, but, like, and he's not mobile either. But also, like, Drew Brees is a generational talent as well. Like, he's one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history, in my opinion. So, I mean, you know, Kyler Murray, I'm sorry, he's just not going to be that good. Like, I'm sorry. And people can say I'm a hater, I'm racist, but again, like, if I'm racist, why is Lamar Jackson my favorite quarterback in the NFL, and probably my favorite college football player in college football history. So, you know, and I still believe he's going to be good. Kyler Murray, on the other hand, I, I don't see it, you know. And, like, it's got nothing to do with height. It's got more to do with the size and the fact that he struggles throwing to the middle of the field. Baker Mayfield, you know, he's short, too, short for a quarterback. He can throw anywhere on that field. Kyler he can't. Like, he struggles in the middle of the field. And that's what separates 
Baker from Kyler. So I'm sorry to all you Kyler Murray fans. Like I'm sorry, he, he I don't believe he's going to be good. He could prove me wrong, and I'm all for him proving me wrong. Like if he if he can start a whole new trend of quarterbacks, like undersized quarterbacks being successful in the NFL, I'm all for it. But like in my opinion, he won't be good. And I, Lamar Jackson, while he's my favorite quarterback. I, I still like I'm still not quite sure about him. I do believe him and Baker will regress in year two just because teams have more tape on them. But I mean after that, you know, year three, that's really the t- determining factor for a quarterback, you know, in my opinion. So but, I mean, you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, offer your thoughts in the comments. Now my last topic in today's video is a controversial one. And it's whether or not Colin Kaepernick should get another chance in the NFL. Now, listen, I'm not going to offer, you know, I tend to separate my views from YouTube and all that. I mean, I do. So, so I'm not going to offer an opinion on, like, you know, the whole flag thing. I mean, but if you look at it, the fact that a guy like, you know, you know, Josh Brown, you know, he basically admitted to beating the hell out of his, you know, wife and only got a one game suspension. And, you know, the fact that he's still in the NFL, guys that have beaten their wives still got another shot in the NFL, you know. I mean, like people that commit domestic abuse, but the fact you've got people that like smoke weed, they get more punishment than people that like, you know, just you know, beat on their significant others, I mean. So, you know, that's ridiculous. But the fact that guys like that can get another shot in the NFL, like Kareem Hunt, for example, if he can, like, and look, I don't at all support beating, like, your significant other, but, again, in my opinion, Kareem Hunt, it wasn't that serious. Like, somebody just tried to get in between them and, like, keep the woman from hitting him, and then, you know, it, it she ends up getting shoved in the wall, and that kick, you know, like, I mean, come on, it, it wasn't that bad of a kick. Like, it wasn't going to do any harm to her at all, no matter what she said. So, But, I mean, Kareem Hunt, he got back in the NFL. Why can't Colin Kaepernick? Now, I have been seeing reports of, Col- like, asking if Colin Kaepernick should come to the My Miami Dolphins. My answer is no. And it's not because of the flag thing. It's not because of the media circus he would bring, which admittedly he would bring a media circus with him to a team, yes. But a structured team could ignore that. And the main reason I don't want Kaepernick in Miami is because the huge Cuban population and, you know, the fact that he openly supported Fidel Castro. So that is the reason why I'm against him coming to Miami. However, I will give you the perfect team and perfect situation and perfect fit for Colin Kaepernick. If he's to come back to the NFL, and admittedly, like if the reports are true, he wanted twenty million plus to come back to the NFL. That's ridiculous, Colin. And you know, like, don't ask for that much, because I mean. Most likely, you're not going to be a starter right off the bat, especially after three years of not playing. And, like, I'll admit it, Colin Kaepernick, he is a, like, he's talented. But the main problem with him, those numbers that he put up, all those throws went to his first read. He, like, you know, he wasn't, um, you know, like, he really cannot read a defense that well. And that's the main problem with Kaepernick that sets him from being like average to good or great is the fact that he has problems reading the defense. However, again, I'm going to give you the perfect team because this team is structured enough to where, you know, the media circus won't affect their play. He's a perfect scheme fit for the offense that's run, and he can be a mentor to a young quarterback. And that team is the Baltimore Ravens. The offense they run with Lamar Jackson fits Kaepernick to a T. You know, Ka- what do you want? Kaepernick can be a, he can be a fit there. Like, he fits that scheme. And, again, I believe it to do Lamar Jackson good to have a mentor, you know, like him. But, overall, like, you know, that's just some of my opinions on some of the things in the NFL today. 
the last what the last thing I do want to talk about though, real quick, is Nick Foles. A lot of people in like, I'm in Dolphins fan groups on Facebook, and a lot of people want Foles to Miami. There is no reason to pay that man all that money to come and be a bust in like in a different system. He only succeeds in Philadelphia. I don't give a fuck if he's won a Super Bowl, if he was Super Bowl MVP. The team around him was so loaded that they probably would have won the Super Bowl with the third string, Nathan Sudfeld. So I'm sorry. Foles to Miami is a no-go. And anyone that thinks he should come to Miami, along with Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, Charles Clay, is a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. But, like, Foles is Foles gold. And a team is going to take a bite of foals and end up fucking regretting it. And with that being said, that's it for the video. Real American Studios out. Peace out on my homies.